Hey everyone, doing a little cooking tonight. I'm by myself and of course as as I get left alone I hear that there's some two packages of mushrooms that need to be cooked. Two packages of mushrooms to cook. Uh, and I picked an unbelievable amount of peppers so I cooked I cut up a nice big bowl full here to cook up tonight with dinner and I'm going to get this get a little heat going here I'm going to add in some olive oil and I've taken a nice big boneless skinless chicken breast and cut it up into roughly one inch cubes and I'm going to uh, cook these, brown them and cook these I'm going to do a really terrible version of this Trader Joe's curry sim simmer sauce it says to uh, empty the jar and eight ounces of water into big skillet cut up the boneless skinless chicken breast uh, cook them all together and serve it with rice or pasta or pita bread well okay so it's like the jar of this stuff some water and chicken well I'm gonna take this stuff some chicken I'm gonna add onions to mushrooms and peppers and see if I can make a, a, a chicken curry that has a whole lot of vegetables in it so This will get some heat going here on it in just a moment. Be hot enough. Okay. So we're going to put the chicken in. I'm going to wash the plate it was on so that when the chicken is pretty much done I can put it back onto this plate here and then I can start cooking the vegetables so and chicken on the stove with a little olive oil doesn't take too long we all know how that works so I'll be back when the chicken's done Okay, the chicken's in pretty good shape. I know the, the, the jar says to cook the chicken with the sauce and stuff, but I kind of like to make sure that the meat is done before I... I just don't like putting raw meat in like that. Once we get it done, that's a different animal now. So we're going to get the chicken out. have the chicken out. I'm going to put in onions and garlic. It's just a little bit of garlic because I wasn't too good at cleaning it up or whatever so I just add a little garlic. We'll get that started a little bit. Then we'll add the mushrooms. There we go. That's one uh, Sweet yellow onion cut up. Hopefully they're still Vidalias. I think they are. And got them in there cooking with a little bit of garlic. And we'll let those cook down just a little bit and we'll be back. Alright, the onions are starting to brown up nicely. So I'm going to add the mushrooms. I don't know if I'm really doing these in the right order or not. It seems like I remember this is how I see it done. My cooking is normally out in the grill, not inside. So that's some sliced. This is a nice batch of oysters. God, I love oysters. Huh. I guess those need to be cut. 
these oysters need to be cut up, see? Alright. Okay, now for the oysters back in, all cut up. This is looking like it's kind of dry, but as soon as those mushrooms decide to start weeping out, they'll shrink and give off a ton of water. So, we'll be in good shape here shortly. Mushrooms and ball wilted down nicely, so I'm going to add the peppers. Boy, there's a big old bowl of peppers. These were all picked today and cut today. Mix them in. That'll be a good time to add the chicken back. Getting this all put back together. So we started with browning, cooking up the chicken, then we put in the onions, a little bit of garlic. As soon as that started going a little bit translucent, we added two packages of mushrooms, cooked them down. Now we've added the peppers. Now for the last ingredient, we're going to put in the curry sauce, curry simmer sauce. We get this as Trader Joe's, you get different items lots of places. Uh, Trader Joe's is a nice one, not too bad. I'm going to add a little water to it so I get the rest of it out. Plus the Trader Joe's recipe said to put in some water. So we're going to add that. Alright, let's give this a stir. This looks like something that's going to be my dinner and lunch for days. That's alright. We'll let all this cook for a bit. I'll kind of blend in and then we'll see what we have. So we'll be back in a few minutes. See how all this tastes. We'll put a little cover on it, keep the liquids in. Back to you in a minute. This is kind of a hot mix for me, so I'm going to go one more step. And I think it's going to be, oh, that's really hot. And I'm going to add a can of coconut milk. Let's see if that will cool it down some. Which I imagine it will. And then also thicken it a little bit. That mixed in. I'll put the lid on and let that simmer for a little bit. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, I've been letting this simmer with coconut milk in it. And I know, because I tasted when you weren't looking. This is absolute mana from heaven here. Oh. The regular curry recipe, even without my, all my additions, doesn't have the coconut milk in it. But for me, the coconut milk calms the heat down some. 
and just makes this thing outstanding. So don't be afraid to try. Just kind of winging it. Pile all your vegetables in, add a sauce, add some meat, and you could you could have yourself something really nice. So it's time for me to go eat. Thank you for watching and feel free to give it a try. And feel free to put comments down at the bottom and tell me which parts of this I cooked in the wrong order. Thank you much.